As pets, dogs share close living environments with humans. This means when a dog gets sick, this could also indicate that there could be a health risk for people who share a living space with the dog. Local researchers have created the world's first reference map of the dog epigenome, which is expected to be a new tool in detecting environmental risk factors. Yi Eunjin has the details. In 1955, in the city of Minamata, Japan, cats showed symptoms of convulsions, then flung themselves into the sea. The following year, similar symptoms started to show in people. This Minamata disease turned out to be caused by mercury poisoning. The symptoms showed earlier in cats because they have an accelerated biological clock compared to humans. Decades later, local scientists have now furthered their research into another animal that people share so much with. They have created what's being called an epigenome catalog of the dog, which can act as an early warning for environmental risk factors. There are many switches in our DNA that control gene activity. We can call this switch an epigenome. Depending on the environment we are exposed to, it can change greatly. The research team closely examined 11 major dog tissues, including the brain, liver and stomach, to create a high-quality reference map of the dog epigenome. As the dog epigenome closely resembles the human epigenome, this allows a form of decoding. So when a dog contracts a disease, this new map allows a reading of how the environment has caused changes to the way genes work, which then acts as an early warning for people living in the same environment. Dogs have a faster biological clock than humans. Their bodies react faster to environmental factors, which can predict symptoms that may later show in humans. The latest findings were published in the international scientific journal Science Advances. The research team will look further into examining the epigenome mapping of the dog for specific diseases like cancer, then comparing it to the epigenome mapping of humans to find further relevant connections. Ian Jin, Arirang News.